All right, you guys. So unfortunately, we didn't get 100 miles an hour with the Corvette body, but I kind of expected that. That body is kind of open on the sides, and as soon as air gets up underneath of it, it just picks right up. So what we're going to do today is install this kit from a guy I know on Facebook. His page, I believe it's AW Customs. As far as this kit, what all comes with it is this front splitter. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but we talked about potentially hollowing out some of this under here and adding a spot to put weights. But we've got that. We've got the rear wing. We've got a couple of side skirts for a specific body, and I'll show that to you. I may not run these right away, but I'll show you what body it goes to. Here we have a template that helps you drill out the right holes in your chassis for these side pieces. Now these are also body locking too, so that's kind of nice. And then you have a couple pieces for the rear that we'll be using to install the wing onto. And then all of the needed hardware. Let me go ahead and get this installed. And anything that's particularly unique, I'll shoot a quick video of, but it should all be pretty self-explanatory. So first, this triangular looking piece gets screwed into the center hole right above the two screws for the sway bar. All right, so next up, this piece with the square on top. If you line up and screw in those two bottom screws into the shock tower first, and then drive these two screws up here into the bottom. Best thing I found to do was to just pinch these two pieces together while you screw that down and then counter sink it about four millimeters or so, maybe three. So now we'll just pop the top of the spoiler into here. You should hear it click into place and then we'll screw down those four screws. As far as this, these two holes here, haven't really found out exactly what those two are for yet. Okay, the rear wing is on, and the next piece is going to be for this body mount. So if you wanted to use this to mount up your body and use that as a hole to put a pin through, you can. So this actually is for the front. That was my mistake. So this would go in the front, looks like where these two brass pieces I have currently, that's where that would go. And this small piece in the bag back here is for the rear. So it looks like all of the screws that I needed were already partially screwed into the individual pieces. Then he also provided the bag. So you may not have these pre-installed. Um, this may be just because this is one of the first ones that he's made, um, at least in a while. But um, you'll have a bag of screws to install yours with. All right, so unfortunately, these screws are too small for this part. Um, and it just slid right into place. It didn't actually thread. But it looks like there's a spot underneath, like you can see all the way through those holes right there. So I didn't realize that probably had to put a nut on the back side. What might actually be better would be a locking nut on the back side. But uh, I think I can get to it through there. Oh, may have been nice to know early on because I could have put that on before putting the rest of this on. All right, so definitely the best thing to do is to take this off, attach that piece up here so you can put a couple locking nuts underneath and then installing it. All right, you guys, so I got the back on and for me, this is probably what it's gonna end up looking like. Um, my personal opinion, I don't like how much this sticks out forward like that. I wish that this was in a little bit more um, the rear looks good the wing looks good 
I wish that the fins on the wing maybe had another plate that would bolt to this. So if you extended this out a little bit more and then had something where you can bolt some higher fins to help keep it straight, that'd be great. Cause you know, 3D printing all the way up is not feasible, but if you make a really thick, even honestly, just make this a thick square like this and then drill holes so you can put another, you know, plate or something up there. Same thing here, maybe just do square and then drill some holes and that way you can drill in some higher fins up here. But yeah, this I think should definitely be brought in some so it's not so large. And from a steering perspective, you know, basically what I would do is just steer this all the way to one side and then go ahead and just bring that back maybe four or five millimeters. But I think it does look good. Like I said, the nose is a little long and could probably even shorten this. So this whole area up here, maybe just shorten it down. And then whatever is inside of this block, if that's just full of material, I would just hollow all that out. Not up here. all in here in this area hollow this out keep you know give yourself a good sidewall so it's still strong but all this in here hollow out and that way that could just be filled with lead or whatever whatever would fit in there maybe even create a little door that you can screw in on this bandit this little door here you can unscrew this and this comes off and that's so that you can pack that in with some heavy putty or, or whatever, you know, something along those lines. An idea like that on here, I think would be really cool and help weigh the front of that down. So, but it feels strong and it puts together nicely. All right, so the rest of this kit does require the 8E 4.0 body. Now, if you wanted to use your own body, like an arm of Typhon that's been significantly cut down, you could and you wouldn't use these side pieces, but for the sake of this kit, I'm gonna go ahead and install these side pieces with the body locking side uh, skirts. That way this can sit into the body lockers like that. I'll have to trim a little bit back here to make sure that that can fit over there. And then this front piece can either just be screwed right to there or it looks like he provides a couple of these spacers that would just drop right down in to there and then screw that on. I'm gonna get that installed. And then the rest of this, really, you, you kinda of wanna test fit it yourself, um, which is what I did. I set both of these up on both sides, put the body down in here, and then figured out that this needs to be mostly all the way back, mimic it on the other side, and then use the template to drill out the holes. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I got the side skirts on, and this is it for now. I've got to repair it, of course, but then I'll go out and run it, let you guys know my thoughts. But other than the couple of things that we talked about real quick, I think that this is a pretty nice kit, and somebody could definitely elaborate on it and make it better, or AW Customs could elaborate on it and make it better. So, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video where we go ahead and run this, of course, after I repair everything. All right, take care.